everyone. Thank you for coming back to Thirsty Thursdays. My name is Steven and I'm here with Liz. Thank you for joining us again. So Liz, what did you think about the drink? It was very good. Um, I really like the blend of all the different juices in here. So the name of the drink is Hocus Pocus Punch. It reminds me of one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. And is that Hocus Pocus? That's Hocus Pocus. <laughs> So actually, it's a funny story, but I hadn't seen Hocus Pocus until barely the first time last year. But I can understand why it was a childhood classic for many people. Absolutely. It was one of my favorites as a kid growing up. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about a, a subject that kind of gets swept under the rug um, every year for some reason. Um, and that's spiked drinks. Uh, you definitely want to be careful with um, when you're going out to, to a gathering, when you're going out to a party or things like that. Um, I know a lot of times that wherever these drinks are held, no one's really observing, looking over them. Um, and it's very dangerous. So basically spiked drinks uh, can lead to overconsumption. Um, they can lead to loss of inhibition, uh, nausea, vomiting, and overall just drunkenness. Um, since no one's really standing around observing what's, what's being poured into these drinks, um, it's very dangerous. Uh, one of the other things is, you know, if, if for some reason someone ends up in the emergency room because they drank something that, and something, uh, and their drink was spiked, uh, it, it makes it very difficult for a doctor to figure out what course of action to take when they don't know what's actually in their system. Oh, that's right. Like so, because it, because it's usually a huge punch bowl at a Halloween party, right? It can have different types of alcohol in it, and so once that person gets taken to the ER, the doctor's not gonna know, like you know, what it was or even what type of alcohol, and because it's not just alcohol. Sometimes it's other drugs too. Exactly. So when they don't know exactly what's in your system, it makes it very difficult for them to, um, you know, help you out and figure out how to help you out, especially. You know, at that point, you're slurred, you're, you're, you know, con you're unconscious most of the time. Um, you know, you're either drunk, um, you're basically, you know, not coherent. Uh, yeah, Stephen, I can actually see how spike drinks are really dangerous and how they can lead to all of these um, medical issues. Is there any tips that someone can take to be safe at these parties? Yeah, I think overall, you know, making sure that you're always holding on to your cup. Uh, watching what you drink, um, you know, making these mocktails yourself um, and bringing them to to friends gathering or a party uh, where you don't have to worry about alcohol overconsumption or anything like that. And you could still enjoy a uh, tasty drink, especially, you know, it's themed, you know, during the holiday or uh, during the Halloween times, um, you know, could be a definitely good idea for you to do as opposed to possibly having some of these other negative things happen to you. That's right. I actually can't wait to make this one at the next Halloween party. Me I go. Clink. Clink. <laughs>